because I'm not even ready for today. I feel like I'm in shock. I feel like I don't have the right words to say. I feel like I am just so thrilled, okay? Luis Miguel live for the first time today. So, se merece todo, todo, todo el éxito que tiene. Entrégate. Aún no te siento. Today, September 20th. This vlog is for the moms, okay? Because literally... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even have the right words to tell you right now because I'm literally so excited, okay? You are not ready for today because I'm not even ready for today. I feel like I'm in shock. I feel like I don't have the right words to say. I feel like I am just so thrilled, okay? Let me tell you something. I have seen Luis Miguel live for the first time today. This vlog isn't even for you. This vlog is for your mom. Please put your mom on the screen right now. Please put your mom on the screen right now because your mom and I have a lot in common. And one of the things we have in common is the fact that we love Luis Miguel. Unless you also love Luis Miguel, then stay, obviously. But oh my God, you guys, we are seeing Luis Miguel today and I could not believe it. Okay, so let me tell you. I didn't really grow up, like obviously we all grew up listening to him because our moms listened to him, but I didn't really grow up, grow up being like obsessed with him or anything like that. Um, Because I feel like a lot of our moms kind of had like a crush on him and I don't have a crush on him. I am just amazed at what an amazing singer he is. About five years ago in 2018, I was in Mexico spending a summer there like I usually used to do before I got married and had my baby. And basically I was at my tia Vanna's house. I didn't really have much to do. And at the time, the Netflix series, the Luis Miguel Netflix series wasn't available in the USA. It was only available in Netflix, Mexico. So I just started watching it. I was like, well, let me watch it, see what it's about best series I could have watched, best thing I could have done with my time. It was amazing and it just made me appreciate and like fall in love with who Luis Miguel is as an artist. Like his story is super touching, um, like everything that has to do with his mom, um, you know, like the story with his dad. It's just crazy. Like it's a crazy story. So if you guys have time, it's now available on Netflix USA. So I think you can watch it. I don't know if it's still available now, but it's a really good story. Okay. Now, outside of him having an amazing life story, right? Like, like who he was growing up and stuff. He has so much talent, you guys. Genuinely, it is such an honor to be represented by him. Like the fact that he's known as one of Mexico's best singers. So se merece todo, todo, todo el éxito que tiene. So I am so excited to finally be seeing him. So in 2018, I started like really getting into his music, really being into him, um, not romantically. Like I don't have a crush on the guy or anything. Like I just genuinely appreciate and look up to his music. And I think the last time he was on tour was actually 2019. But at the time I like, I didn't have anyone to go with me to the concert. And I was like, no, like I don't wanna go. Um, I don't wanna go by myself, you know? Um, so 2020 happened, obviously nobody was having concerts. I literally, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know, I was saying every so often I would get on my stories. When you guys see that Luis Miguel goes on tour, let me know. When you guys see that he goes on tour, let me know. And honestly, you guys, el señor está viejito. So I was like, what if he just never goes on tour again? What if he just retires and I never get to see him? And that was weighing heavy on my soul. So I'm so excited because earlier this year, I think I was still pregnant when he announced his tour dates. Yes, I was. Um, he announced his 2023 tour dates. I was so excited. So first of all, this is what he did. He just released the fact that he was gonna go on tour. He didn't say dates or anything like that. And I was pregnant. And I remember thinking, even if he has a concert tomorrow and I am nine months pregnant, I'm going to this damn concert. I am going, I am not missing out. What if this is his last tour? Absolutely not, I'm not missing out. So basically I ended up buying two tickets, right? I was like, I don't care who I'm going with. Someone's gonna end up going with me, I'm going. And um, he announced the dates and he was gonna be here in October. So obviously my son is five months old or I mean five months. So at the time I was like, okay, perfect. Like I'll be a couple months postpartum. Like I'm gonna be able to go. Um, now I asked everybody around me if they wanted to go and everybody was like, yeah, I'll go with you. And I was like, no, 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 no. I don't need a 
yeah, I'll go with you. I need a entregate. Aún no te siento. Like, that's the kind of passion I need. I don't need a, yeah, I'll go with No, no, no. Like, I need you to be there singing your lungs out with me, okay? So, Denny obviously is staying with the baby. Uh, I asked my sister. She said, I can't go. I asked my mom. She was like, eh. Um, the only person, the only other person I know that would be super excited to go with me would be my tia Vane. But obviously, she's in Mexico. So, I got two tickets. Now, a couple months ago, um, this was what, like March? Marzo, Abril, Mayo, Junio, Julio, Agosto, September, October. So, like seven months ago. A couple months ago, I knew I had the tickets. And I was like, man, like, I don't have anyone to go with. Like, I'm sad. Like, I, I feel like my baby's too little. Like, I started feeling mom guilt, you know? Like, that mom guilt, if you're a mom, you know. If you know, you know. Where I was like, no, like, I can't leave the, my baby at nighttime. Pobrecito, blah, blah, blah. I let mom guilt get the best of me, and I ended up selling the tickets. I was like, I'm just not gonna go. It's fine. Like, he'll come around again some other time. It's okay. Like, I don't have to go. And then, if you guys remember, a couple weeks, months ago, I don't remember when, when, a month ago, I ended up going to the Beyonce concert by myself. And once I ended up going to the Beyonce concert by myself, I feel like I was a little bit liberated. And I kind of, I don't know, like I grew this new side of me. Like one of the beautiful things that has happened to me since becoming a mom is the fact that now I'm like, I'm strong. Like, soy fuerte. I can do things on my own. God is with me. I'm a mom, you know, like I could do hard things. And going to a concert by myself, I know maybe to some people it's not a big deal. But if you know, you know, like I've come a long way to being able to leave my house by myself. So Beyonce's concert by myself, I had so much fun. I told Danny, I was like, what if I go to see Luis Miguel by myself? And he's like, go, go, go. I got the baby. He's going to be fine. You're only going to be gone for three hours. Go. You've been wanting to see this this guy. Go have fun, right? So I ended up getting a ticket to see Luis Miguel by myself <laughs> today. September 20th. Actually, uh, funny enough, I got these, I got the first set of tickets around May, which was my Mother's Day gift. It was my Mother's Day gift, this being my first Mother's Day. Um, and when I ended up selling them, I was super sad because I was like, oh, it was my Mother's Day gift. So this is still gonna count as my Mother's Day gift. So even though Mother's Day happened in May, we're still cashing in today and we're gonna see Luis Miguel, which makes me so, 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 so excited, you guys. I am so happy. So all this to say, we're at Ulta right now. We're gonna get some stuff. We're gonna get some goodies. So right now's mission is actually, we have to get some makeup products. We have to get an outfit because I don't have an outfit. And then we have to get cash because my Apple Pay hasn't been working. I don't know why, but we have to get cash just in case if I need cash for parking and stuff. But yeah, you guys, I'm so, so, so excited. I can't believe the day is here. It's later on in the day and look, I didn't realize when we were at Ulta that this concealer was broken, which is why it was the last one there. So when I got it, it wasn't leaking like this, but when I got it out of the Ulta bag, it was broken. So we're definitely returning this. It's time to get ready. I came home, I hung out with SJ for a little bit. I was with him for a couple of hours, then I had therapy and then I got ready, I see. So we actually are gonna film a TikTok because girl, you already know if we're going out and we're going somewhere, we are filming a TikTok. So let me set everything up so that I can film the TikTok right here i was gonna do it in my office like i typically do but the, today's outfit i feel like would go best with this wall because it's green and this is the whole reason why we painted this wall to have a different backdrop so let me we're gonna make magic happen baby i've never really filmed a reel behind this wall so we'll see how it looks because i feel like there might be no dimension but it's okay we're gonna make it work my handy dandy tripod I'm so excited, you guys. I can't believe the day is finally here and I can't believe we're about to go. I did always set the tripod to the highest setting because I'm tall. To this corner. So let me show you what I actually got on my slow down, which is what I'm gonna be wearing today. As you guys know, right now it's like really on trend, like with the flowers on the dresses. So I got this dress. It's like a beige color that has like these flowers on the boobies. Okay, sunshine, come through. Um, so I got this one because I was like, okay, this is cute. It's simple. It's long and more than anything It's comfortable you guys. I'm at a point in my life where I go to concerts 
where I need to be comfortable, okay? Younger me, I used to wear high heels to concerts and it was really cute, it was really fun, but girl, standing at your feet for 13 hours at a concert in heels, you end up not having fun because your feet hurt. Now, I was not really one to take my heels off at a concert, so now, let me show you. I got these shoes to make the TikTok with and obviously to wear. Um, look, I got these ones because I feel like the dress with these heels is kind of giving like office chic, the little bow and everything. I really like these. So I got those heels for the TikTok and eventually to wear, but I'm not gonna wear, I'm not gonna be wearing heels to the concert. Let me show you what I did end up getting. I ended up getting these flat shoes and you guys already know that whenever I find size 11, I snatch them up because whenever stores get size 11, they literally get like one pair of size 11. So ahí estamos todas patronas fighting for our life to try and get that one shoe that's a size 11. So the ballerina flats have came back in style, baby. Uh, I found these ones. They're a Miss Lola and they're my size and they're super comfortable. So these are the ones that we're actually gonna be wearing to the concert, oh my god. 2011 me is literally shaking in her boots. Why did these ever go out of style? They're so cute. I love them. So let me do the reel. Um, I'll put it here for you guys so you can see. And then let's finish getting ready, girl, because we gotta. The boys actually went to go get cash for me because I, I told Danny, I was like, can you guys go get cash for me? Because I don't have time. And he's like, yeah, we'll go. So that's where they're at. And I need to get ready while they come back. coach bag that then gifted to me um from what i know you're supposed to take a clear bag or a small clutch bag which this would count as a small clutch clutch bag because it's literally tiny it's super tiny so i'm just taking my phone you guys and my lipstick and literally that's it and the cash that denny got for me so it's about time to go i really really love the way my makeup came out if you guys want to know what lashes these are, these are the ones that Tati put on me like, I don't know, a couple of times ago. And literally she told me, if you take care of them, they're going to last you a long time. And they have. Literally, I'm obsessed. Let me know if you guys want me to ask her. But yes, this is cute, chic, comfy. And I'm ready to stand there for the next two to three hours screaming and singing my little lungs off. I love, I love the way it ended up coming out. Let's go. The concert starts at eight and... He has no openers, so he's gonna be the first person out. I don't know if he'll be on time or not, but I'd rather not risk it. Um, so yeah, vamonos al concierto. Guys, we just got here. We just paid for parking. I'm gonna try to park as close to the front as possible, but it literally looks so pretty. Okay, so this is the first date of shows here in, in Southern California, I think. I don't know if maybe he presented in San Diego already, but this is in Anaheim, which is my first time coming to the Honda Center. And so far, I like it so much more than LA. Everybody looks gorgeous. So yeah, let's park. And I cannot wait to show you guys everything because it literally looks so good. You guys, I literally told you this vlog is not, this vlog is for the moms, okay? Because literally, <laughs> All the señoras are here and I'm like, oh my god, all the señoras are here like if I'm not one of them. So here I am with everybody's tias and tios and moms. I am so excited. We're off the car. We're about to get in.
you guys i literally have no words that was hands down the most beautiful concert of my entire life i cannot stop smiling i'm literally gonna talk to you guys about it right now in the car but wow oh my god i'm shocked what a dream last night was oh my gosh like i told you guys at the beginning of this video luis miguel was one of my favorite favorite um como se llama? performers ever now i think he was actually sick yesterday because between songs he would go like this like <laughs> como que estaba tosiendo so i think he was sick and then a lot of times like if you guys have ever heard him like his signature thing i mean he has a beautiful voice he's been singing since he was a child he has a really strong voice and so every time there was like a really hard part in a song he would put the mic out so that the crowd could sing you know when singers do that and i feel like at concerts i've seen them do it like once or twice but literally in the beginning for a lot of the hard parts of the songs he would put the mic out so that we could sing obviously we knew all the songs and it was still amazing and i feel like in towards the middle he warmed up so it was a little bit better and then at the end he just went all out um so the show in total was an hour and like 45 to 50 minutes which i had so much fun it was amazing it was amazing i really was thinking and i was like you know what like i missed out on so many things before because i didn't want to go by myself because i didn't have anyone to go with because i was scared you know and like my feelings were valid and stuff but if you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself there's something you want to do and you can't find people to go with or no one wants to go with you or no one wants to pay the price to go with you because they don't find it worth it to whatever you're gonna do this is your sign to go for it you guys this is your sign to go for it because i would have missed out on beyonce i would have missed out on luis miguel like oh my god it was literally the best concert of my life like i sang every song i danced um i was there by myself as you guys saw uh, the girl next to me was actually there by herself too and she told me she's like que chistoso que venimos solas verdad y yo si sí, le digo pues es que si no no hubiéramos venido y dice si sí, dice yo también vengo sola dice porque si no nunca salgo and I'm like I get it girl like I, she looked older I don't know if she was a mom or not but like this is your sign if there's anything you want to do if you want to go to a concert if you want to go to the club I don't know whatever you want to do whatever you want to do in your heart do it do it do it do it do it this is your sign don't wait for anybody else to want to do it with you I had so much fun. I had absolutely so much fun and I want you guys to experience the same kind of fun and not to have to wait for somebody else to be available to to do that for you, you know? My dogs are working in the back, but I loved it. I had so much fun and I El Sol de Mexico did not disappoint. My favorite part was definitely when he came out with mariachi. Oh my god. Luis Miguel has so many genres, but when he sings with mariachi, oh my god, that's literally my favorite ever. So, he sang my favorite song, La Viquina. That was my favorite song. But yeah, it was a dream come true, you guys. It was a dream come true. Now, let me tell you something. Right now and this weekend, we have to concentrate on all QMRM shop merch going now so uh, i'm gonna cut this vlog short um typically i know i would be a longer vlog but we really have to focus on putting everything out for you guys so that these orders can get to you asap girl asap <laughs> so that's gonna be it for this vlog definitely let me know what's something you would like to do and go by yourself too or what's something you've been wanting to do and you haven't been doing because people don't want to go with you you know you know sometimes we're into things that nobody else is into like all my friends are young no one's into Luis Miguel so yeah I'm very 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 happy I went gracias a Dios se pudo gracias a Dios me cuido I had absolutely so much fun and if you're waiting for it this is your sign to go do something that you want to do even if nobody else wants to do it with you so that's gonna be it for me las quiero mucho que Dios me las bendiga eternamente quiérete mucho respétate más I'll see you in the next video. Bye.